right, so we're here at the Gold Coast. We yep. just finished this um, half a day event with Julia Matthews, Food Nutrition for Autism. Um, what was it like? Uh, and, and why did you come? Well, we came because we have heard about Julie before and Pauline, my business partner, almost ordered the book online and then we found out that she was coming so we thought we'd come and actually see her speak and it was so informative and educational and it really put together all of the pieces of nutritional information that we've been researching independently over the last mm -hmm. couple of years but we just couldn't put it all together to make a complete picture and yeah, it really expanded on a lot of different areas with the oxalates and, and the, the phenols and things that we had sort of scratched the surface of, but now it's so much more of an understanding and we really thank Julie and yeah, we can't wait to get started with the cookbook and read the whole book. So you feel you have a sense of like, you know, the why behind yeah, all of this? Absolutely. I mean, why to, you know, people say it's very difficult, you know, no one's saying it's easy to change diet, but often they say, you know, it's hard to do, so... Or they'll say there's no science behind it. What do you what do you say to folks who are quite right? Look, you know, it is difficult, especially if you're feeding a family of people that are rebelling against you continually. So you right. try to replace foods with others that um, are going to actually appeal to various family members, and and you also have to be able to explain to the family members why we're doing it and the effect that it's going to have in a way that everyone's going to comply with. So. Right. Yes, I think that Julie helped us with that as well and she's got some really good basic recipes that she has researched that people will, you know, children and other people will eat without uh, objection. So, you know, if we can start off with that, then it's a good foundation to start with. So anyway, we're here at the Gold Coast. We just had a whole day with Julie Matthews' uh, event, Food and Nutrition for Autism, and just wanted to... Was it worth coming today and spending the day? Yeah, very good. Did you? We've already been doing diets for years, about 10 years. Uh -huh. but it was great to get a refresher and just to be reminded. We went to the mine conference a couple of years ago. Right. And it was, um, this just pulled the whole thing together, all in one go. It was great. And did you guys all feel like you got something that will help you? Either get to, or take it to the next level, get going, I mean... Yeah, absolutely. For me, I'm new into this, so it gave me that broad view. I hear of my friends doing different diets, but I, it was good. My takeaway from this was the overview of all the diets, right. and getting an overview of how to start, and I always thought it would be too difficult with my child, but possibly not. Sure, yeah. sure. It takes a bit for each uh, diet and right. adapt it to your child. It's really great because usually you just get, you know, 100% gaps or whatever. It's just, you know, that's the only Right, because ultimately everyone needs to figure out what's right for them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and then lastly, do you, do you feel you have a sense of, uh, you know, how to tell others, you know, why this makes sense? You know, because many people say, oh, you know, don't bother with the diet or, or there's nothing you can do. I mean, do you feel like you have a, at least some insight so you can tell people, you know, why this is worthwhile? Not to only that, I've now got, because I've been doing the diet with my son for about three or four years now. And people always tell me there's no science to back it up. Mm -hmm. And now I've got the book that says a list of where they can go and find out extra information, even though I knew myself from anecdotal evidence that diets do work. Now I have enough um, scientific evidence to back me up so that when people start getting on science on me, I can say, well, have a read of this, and go here and go there. And that's really cemented for me that I'm doing the right thing. That's great. And we're also going to, I'm going to send you all, of course, all the bonus material we had mentioned as far as the online modules, but also some links to some of Julie's articles that are referenced, you know, a synopsis of what's in the book that you can send to every, anybody and they'll see really clearly you know, the scientific rationale. And that'll help hopefully bolster support amongst families and others as well to, to get behind and support your work. So thank you all for coming. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. All right. Um, so we're here finishing up. Julie Matthews' event here at the Gold Coast, uh, Food and Nutrition for Autism. Um, how was the day? Uh, it was unbelievable. I'm just so grateful that I attended. Um, I've basically been trying to research all of the information that Julie provided. If I'd come a year ago to this talk, it would have saved me a lot of work. 
and um, even now I, it's helped to piece together all of the information that I've been seeking to try and understand the different diets that are out there for autism and for people with food sensitivities and allergies in general. So it was really helpful to me personally from that perspective. And do you have a sense of the sort of the scientific rationale, I mean like the why behind all of this? Well I stuff? did have that before I came mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. I have been researching it. Um, but it just really helped to um, on a pragmatic level of how to actually implement those changes as well. Right. And I think that's what separates Julie from other people that are providing that information. You can learn about the why but not actually how to implement it. And a lot of parents um, are trying to learn the theory and figure out the how. And she provides the how to as well, which is just brilliant. Sure, yeah. sure. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks.